What's up guys? <clears throat> uh, for today, I wanted to talk about a arcade hardware. Um, when I... What was I going to say? Shit. Alright, when I did my uh, pickups that I got, I picked up, you know, a bunch of arcade boards and Naomi carts. Uh, you know, when I did that video, there was a game in there, and it was Stormblade. Now... This game wasn't working when I got it, and the reason for it is because the top board was damaged. Now before I get into the details on what needed to be done to get it corrected, let's talk about the hardware. Uh, as you can see, it's a dual layer arcade board. There's a top and bottom. Now the bottom consists of the game, and the top consists of the system. Similar to, uh, you know, a Neo Geo MVS here. Uh, let me just pull this out. Similar to a Neo Geo MVS where you got, you know, your, you got your system down here and, you know, the game plugs into the top. Pretty much the same idea, just a little bit different. Still the same concept. So you got the bottom board, which is your game ROM, and the top board, which is your system. Now the game ROM looks very similar to this. This is another SSV uh, game ROM, so you can just take a look at it, see what it looks like. It's basically just a circuit board with uh, some EEPROMs on it. And that's where all the you know the game data is stored to run whatever game it is you uh, you want to play. Now the top board, uh, the top board, you know has a, the graphics processor, sound processor, Gemma Edge, all the caps. Uh, it does all the processing. So you put them together and you got your game. Now this uh, SSV hardware is very flawed. And we're going to go over that in a minute, but uh, before we do, I want to talk about the actual SSV. What is SSV? Just like uh, Neo Geo, the SSV, like I said, was a um, uh, game arcade hardware. There was a pretty nice library of games for this. Uh, sadly, there was a flaw in the design. Before we get into that, let's talk about the games. Over here, I got a list of the games that were available for the SSV hardware. You have uh, Change Airblade, which is a great shmup from 99, made by Sammy, and that was released on it. You also got uh, Drift Out 94, another great title released for the SSV. Uh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with Dyna Gears, but it looks like a platformer. It looks like kind of a lot of fun, so that's another one that would be cool. Eagle Shot Golf, uh, some Mahjong. Yada yada yada. Moving along here. Mobile Suit Gundam. Monster Slider. Looks like a pretty cool puzzle game. Pachinko. Uh, Stormblade. Survival Arts. There's another shmup for it. Uh, Twin Eagle there. And there was <clears throat> Ultra X Weapons, also known as uh, Ultra Kai Bitai. Uh, Vasara. Vasara 2. So as you can see, there was a, a pretty good amount of shops for this lovely little SSV hardware. Now SSV stands for Sammy Setta and Visco. Uh, back in the day, um, Sammy Setta and Visco they joined forces to release this lovely piece of hardware. Now sadly, it's not really that reliable. Um, I don't really know all the details on the unreliability, but I've had some first-hand experiences on some issues, so I want to talk about them. If you take a look over here, you're going to see this, um, I don't know, fucking shit. can't even think, man. <laughs> it's so hard to think right now. I'm so hungover. <laughs> all right, so it's the, you know, the cooling thing, okay? Now, under it is a the graphics processor. Now, over time, if you apply pressure to this by laying your boards on top of each other or just just pushing down on it all right you're gonna have major issues and this is what's gonna happen this is the one that was bro broken so I basically just replaced the top board kept the storm blade bottom ROM work uh, you know and I just swapped them out and it, it, luckily I got it running but just as just to show you what what could happen here if you take a look I took off the uh, the cover and if you just look at the if you look at the legs Okay, look at that. You could probably see it. See how they're all bent? You see that? So basically what was what happened this side is pretty damn obvious too. See that? All that uh 
unstraightenedness, bridging, broken pins. Okay, what's happening, what happened was there was too much pressure applied to this, like that, for whatever reason, and it completely destroyed the graphics processor. So that's one flaw with the system. Another one is uh, if you look at the bottom of the board here, you'll see that they just have capacitors right next to, you know, the legs on all four edges. It's just a really shitty design for uh, arcade hardware. So you got to really be careful with this uh, when you have it. You got to be really careful, put it in a box, don't put anything on top of it, and just, you know, take care of it the best you can and it should last. So I was lucky. I, I found a donor game. Uh, pretty shitty. It was a golf game, that golf one that I showed you, and uh, I, I simply just got it for like 30 bucks. Swapped out the top board, and we got a Stormblade going at 100% here. Uh, this is a great Visco shmup. I'm really glad I was able to uh, get this thing going. I actually got the game for free because the operator knew that it, it wasn't working, so he just gave it to me. So it only cost me about 20, 30, 25, 30 bucks to get this thing going, which is a great price for it. Great shmup. I haven't really played it too much. I played it for maybe about 20, not even like 10 minutes. But I figured I could play it together. You know, fuck it, let's do it. You just put this thing on the tripod here. Sorry if I get you dizzy. All right. I'll try to get it the best I can. You know my recording skills aren't the best, but I don't even know how I'm going to be able to get the whole picture. There we go. That's going to be the best I can get it. Alright, give me one second. Now, like I said, I don't know shit about this game. I only played it for a few minutes. I don't know uh, how to set the dip settings to make it on a harder difficulty. I don't know pretty much anything. But I do know this game kicks fucking ass. So let's play a few minutes of it just to, you know, let you guys see it. All right, so you can choose between four different characters. They all have different attacks, you know, pretty traditional for a shmup from this era so let's just go with this chick because she's cool and it's pink and her name's camel all right here we go now like i said i don't know how to set the difficulty i don't know what difficulty it's on I don't know if you could even set the difficulty. So far all I know is uh, there's two buttons. You have your basic attack and then you also have your bomb. Which was that. Uh, it's obviously a vertical shmup. It was released by Visco. Graphics are amazing. Music is music is pretty nice. It reminds me of a traditional, you know, striker style shooter. With a little more color.
I really like the uh, the animations, the cutscenes, really cool little additions. I'm not sure what systems this was released for, uh, what ports, but I'm sure it's on something. Probably the Saturn. Possibly PlayStation 1, you know, I'm not really sure. I didn't do any research on that. Awesome background images as well, you know, flying over the states. Say, I would say it's basically a crossbreed between arrow fighters and strikers with some nice you know animation and uh, character design people say it's a little on the easy side but uh, you know that's not necessarily a bad thing sometimes Sometimes you need a game like that just to, you know, cool you off a little bit. I'd imagine there's a way to set the difficulty. Pretty amazing, uh, pretty amazing stuff. Oh, I hit the fucking bomb. Bullshit. We'll play, uh, we'll play one more round. Blah, blah, blah. No one gives a fuck about the storyline in an arcade shooter. Also has really nice weapon upgrades, all that good stuff that you, you know, that you really, uh, that you really expect with shmups. graphics man all right guys so I just wanted to show you a little, you know a brief little uh, example of stormblade here 
Like I said, this was released on the SSV hardware. I have no idea what it was ported to. Leave some comments on that. I would love to know. Uh, you know, as far as a great shmup goes, there's only a few things that really I expect. Uh, one of them is obviously, you know, nice graphics, nice, great soundtrack, and great uh, audio. But, uh, you know, a few other things I, I recommend or I, you know, I look for is, you know, easy to distinguish bullets from background, which this game obviously has. Uh, graphics are amazing. Sound, sound and audio is pretty good. So, with all that being said, I would give this game, you know, a pretty high suggestion uh, if you are into arcade stuff. I would definitely suggest picking this one up, especially if you like Strikers, Arrow Fighters, you know, uh, 1944... Uh, games like that. This game really falls under the same category as those. And it can be had for not too much money, so, <clears throat> you know, if you're into this kind of stuff, definitely check out uh, Stormblade. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'm always here. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great 4th of July, guys. Thanks.